Hello and welcome to SnowRunner Season 12 New Trucks and today we are looking at the FE MM37 AT which is this bad boy in front of you can't currently get it onto the maps but I've managed to have a look at it in the proving grounds and you see it is quite a beast it comes with a full slot on there it is articulated on the steering but there is quite a lot of steering available for it you can fit trailers on the back of it as well which is always nice where sometimes the overhang won't let you but there's not too much of a an overhang on this one is a pretty nice bit of kit 340 liters on the fuel there and you can have engageable diff which i haven't selected so let's go back into the garage and get that and we will show you what it's like for the first drive as i've done a video previously showing you everything about it now i have started with the mid-range engine and i'm going to use the advanced special as i find this a lot better gearbox now i've got the that one there we're using those ones today the msh threes and then we'll try and try the jats i've had a quick go with them and they're a lot better as well got the twin motor on there diff lock we need to buy that and we better have a snorkel as well a couple of different snorkel options available and then frame add-ons i'll show you that because everyone's always interested in what's going on here so we've got the the new crane and then we've got the loading crane they can't put that further on because it's articulated i think trunk repairs and then we've got the float body which is the four slot then there's a three slot maintenance trailer three slot on there for the sideboard and then a couple of tanks with saddle high only option on that which is a little bit of a shame but this will be available to be modded so let's turn off that i am getting used to the steering on it as normally articulated steering i'm not a big fan of but this seems to work pretty well so let's load it up with some cargo i'll show you the new cargos which is just along here i found them earlier where are they gone the multi-stage pump and then the data boy where is that gone that one just there just like that that's the new cargos if you haven't seen them now we have got another vehicle which is the G wagon I've got that one into the proven grain as well so I did do a little video straight after this one now, I won't go across there because previously I did and got a lot of damage I've already done a couple of videos and I've been having the same issues today but never mind we're back to back on it now now I have rolled this truck once so far but it does seem pretty stable anyway whereas uh, quite a few times I nearly rolled and it was fine but you see straight into the water now we're in all wheel drive at the moment we're going to low plus with the diff locks on because this with this gearbox seems to pull really well especially as we had to get this thing fully loaded up I don't see it having a problem especially when this is the top engine so far uh, sorry not top this is the mid-range one which you're not turning burning too much fuel whereas the top one you burn loads of fuel which we're going to change it shortly and going inside this bad boy we've got mirrors just there you can see that the mirror over that, that side and then all the gauges obviously working going through the mud just doesn't really have any issues keeps choking through I haven't managed to get it st stuck yet I'll tell you what we might even put it in the let's put it in this pit and I still let's go into low bit of diff locks on and I think it's gonna just climb out all day long which is what you expect is very high clearance so you wouldn't expect to get this bad boy stuck but it looks really nice truck 
I know I am getting used to that steering now, so get into low plus. No problem. Bit of fuel burn on there. Down to 10. Oh, then up to 17 all over the place. Right, take it through. Onto the pipes is always a good sign to see if we sustain any damage or even if it gets across there. So we'll leave it in low plus. And that's getting the job done. Suspension isn't too hard where you find a lot of the base game vehicles are ridiculously hard suspension. Into the mud. Let's go and put it over. Go and put it up the hill. Put it into the auto gearbox again. Oh, can I hit that? Just off it. Yeah, keep oversteering. But nice to see a decent DLC truck what's well, got enough power, even the base engine. For any of you guys like the full vanilla options, then still got plenty of power. Where even though you haven't got diff lock, it still keep chugging through. Put it into a bit of high gear. Over the top, just got the clearance. Just about. And then back over the other side. But yeah, we've burnt quite a bit of fuel already. Oh, I don't know where it's off to then. Right, let's get that line back up. Get through the mud. No issues. Put it into low. Diff locks on and it will just fly through there. As long as I don't roll it. No problem whatsoever. Let me know in the comments what you think about this truck. We did have a similar truck come out uh, probably a couple of years ago now. What had um, I think it was a little bit shorter wheelbase. So I'm not sure what they actually derived off. I think it's as off. Let me know in the comments what you think. But overall so far it seems to go through the mud. I've only rolled it once from my own stupidity really where it does seem to be pretty stable there you go right we'll have a look at the season 12 trucks uh, the G-Wagon next so keep your eyes out for that video that will be uploaded shortly thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one